Okay, so the first thing that we need to do, obviously need to import this asset. I'm going to put a link um, with this lecture for this asset and you can grab it for, from, for free from Open Game Art. And when you grab it to Unity, uh, the first thing that we need to do is basically slice them because as you can see, the, the spaceships are combined into one big sprite sheet. So we need to take care of that first. To do that, we need to click on the sprite and in the right hand side, you can see a few options here. We're not going to talk about all of them just yet, but the first three is really important for us. So let's talk about them a little bit. First one is texture type. So when we are making a 2D game, we need to make sure that the, the texture type is always 2D. If by mistake or for some reason you created your game as a 3D game in the beginning, then you might need to change it to a sprite 2D because by default your texture type will be default or something like that. So that is the first thing. Make sure the texture type is sprites 2D. Okay. Awesome. Next, uh, we have a sprite mode which has three options, single, multiple, polygon. We are going to care about the first two, single and multiple, just for now. So single means this is going to be just one sprite. If I expand it, you can see there is one sprite. If I select multiple, that means this sprite has multiple sprite in it. So it's a sprite sheet, not one sprite, not one image. It's a combination of multiple images. All right. Then we have pixels per unit. The smaller the value, the larger each pixel should be. So uh, 100 pixels per unit means that is the standard size. If you make it smaller, then it should be bigger. The, the image should be bigger. So I'm going to put it 100 for now. Mesh type tight, default, don't worry about it for now. And then we are going to um, just click on this sprite editor. We need to hit apply. And now we can slice it. Slicing is really simple. First of all, this editor, you can scroll, if you use your mouse scroll button to move it closer. You can just use your middle mouse to pan it and scroll back as well using the scrolling, uh, like the mouse scrolling, right? Next, we need to trim them or slice them. So we should use our mouse and drag to draw a rectangle. And if we release the mouse, we can see we have a bounding box sort of stuff and if I now click on the stream button in the top left corner of our screen we can basically trim this so it's going to uh, like get rid of, of the, uh, sorry get rid of all the unnecessary spaces okay so I'm going to do it a few more times Now, one thing I want to mention here is that you can do all this stuff automatically, but there is a few problem with it. Let me show you what happens if I try to do all this slicing automatically. You can click on this top left corner of the screen. There is an option called Sprite Editor. If I zoom it a little bit, Sprite Editor, right? If I click on here, you can see a few options here. So we always uh, need to make sure that the Sprite Editor is selected to make the automated uh, slicing. The next tool is um, the slicing tool. This is where we basically need to do the automated slicing. So you click on there and there is an option called automated, right? So if I click on automatic and hit the slice button, you can see all my spaceships are sliced. All good. But now the problem is that this individual um, you know, bullets are also sliced. So for our purpose, we might not have a problem just yet, but um, if we have this problem later on, we are going to get rid of all this, you know, and make it one big um, bullet, all right? So yeah, just for your note, because these spaceships are designed in a way so that you can, you know, use this multiple um, bullets at a time. There's one, two, three, four bullets shooting spot. Anyways, so yeah, so I think actually let's do it now. 
might be a little bit helpful. Trim it again. I'm going to fast forward the video and I'm going to slice all of them and come back when everything is sliced. Alright, so I am done. Um, now after you are done with all this, you can basically actually make these things a little bit more organized. Right, so here uh, if I click on one of this uh, sliced sprite in the right down corner in my screen, you can see that there is a few options. Uh, there's a name, there's a position and some other stuff. We're not like we don't care about any of this stuff just yet uh, but we can change the name of this ship. So if we change the name of the ship then we can you know manage them in a better way in our in our like unit editor. So let's let's do that. I'm going to click on the first one. Uh, this is ship red and I'm going to do ship red bullet and I'm just going to do the same for all the other spaceships and I'm going to like fast forward the video and come back when it's done. Okay so when you are done changing um, all this names for these bullets and this uh, spaceship in the right top corner there is a button called apply so click on that and then close this window now as I close my window I can see that all that sprites that I just sliced is now being uh, generated in this ship's child right and if I click on one of them you can basically see a preview in the bottom right corner in your screen so I'm just going to show that just in a bit here there is this small like tab like thing so you can click on here and drag it to see the preview all right so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to click on my player and I am going to select the small ship and this is going to be my the my basic ship in the in the future like after a few lectures we are going to add a few more um, ship with different sort of uh, ability so we are going to use some other ship from this list back that time right but now for 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 our current purpose this is all good so if i now play the game again it looks a little bit better because we have a ship now awesome um, yeah and we have all the boundaries set up so yeah um, I think that's all about for this course in the uh, for sorry this lecture in next lecture we are going to add some bullet so the remember when we started this lecture I mentioned that the player can move and the player can shoot that is the basic two functionality for our player we have already implemented the movement the next thing that we want to implement is the shooting